Hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about market failures and the role of the government. We're talking about externalities, which is one of the four market failures that you're going to find out about. Okay, today we're going to talk about negative externalities, or also called spillover costs, when costs spill over to someone other than the original producer or the consumer, some other person that wasn't involved with the transaction. I'm going to show you the graphic, I'm going to show you the concept, I'm going to tell you the problem and also the government solution. The government steps in and tries to solve or fix the negative externality. I'm going to show you in 60 seconds. Take a look at the graph. Here's market for cigarettes, price, quantity. Here's the demand, marginal social benefit, what people are willing to pay for cigarettes. And here's the marginal cost that you'd normally think of when you think of supply. Supply and marginal cost, same thing. But this is the private cost. Right? When a firm produces cigarettes, it doesn't factor in those additional costs of cigarettes, right? So the free market only looks at the cost to the individual firm. And that quantity would be the quantity that I'm going to write FM, the quantity free market. That's the quantity that would happen in the free market. But if you factor in these additional costs of society, right? The additional cost of cigarettes where other people die from secondhand smoke or get cancer or they, they're a drain on society and we have to pay through our tax money to pay for their health care. There's actually an additional cost to those cigarettes, and this right here is supply the marginal social cost, the additional cost, right, plus the cost of society, marginal cost plus cost of society. If you look, it gives you a quantity. That quantity is the quantity that is optimal. This is where, where marginal social cost equals marginal social benefit, what output should be produced. So the problem we said in the free market, too much is produced. Too much output, right? And too much in the free market, right? The reason why we know that is because the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit at quantity free market. At this quantity, marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit. We're producing too much. Over here, the solution, well, the government needs to step in. In this case, the government steps in with a per unit tax that shifts the supply curve to the left. So a tax on producers would shift the marginal cost over here. This graph, this curve would disappear. And now the firm would produce this output. That solves the problem. Until next time.